but uh i'm gonna just go ahead and get started and you guys can watch the recording just watch the rest of it watch it all the way through um this is a 20 minute kv core seminar webinar just telling you bit by bit some things that we've learned about kv core and that can be beneficial for you guys i've been getting this question a lot regarding um regarding the website and how to reroute the website and everything um so there are two options that you have regarding like your domain um and having that connected to kv core you can either pay kv core to put your domain name so it could be like taylor sells real estate dot com or the cheaper route could be to if you have like a web host um like a, a web hosting registrar like domain.com um godaddy web.com dream host if you have any of if you got your domain name from any one of those places which is like taylor sells real estate.com that's your domain name that's what that that is so you can go to wherever you bought that name and have it reroute to the kv core um web address so i believe that that would be um your best bet to do but if you want to pay kv core to put your domain then that will be the, the thing that will pop up and let me share my screen Screen. Wrong screen. Hold on. This one. That will be not this. Under your profile name, that will be right here it'll route to this domain, to this web address. But you can still use your domain name, but it can route here. That way you have a free, um, you have a free website and all you have to do is pay wherever you got your domain name, which is like domain.com, GoDaddy. So um, yeah, awesome. Right, wonderful. Um, okay, so let's get started because what we're gonna talk about today is two things. We're gonna talk about lead status and we're going to talk about campaigns. So the path to your lead, your lead will be your smart CRM. You go under my contacts, to your contacts. You click on your contact, right? This is, for example, I don't know who this is, but you click on this contact and you're going to go, you're going to see their statuses right here under client journey. You see their timeline. So you see Spear, Prospect, New Lead, Active Lead, Client, Contract, Close. I'm going to go over what each one of these mean so that y'all have a better understanding. So underneath Spear, if you're going to put your client in Spear, this means that the contacts you know is the contacts you know that may or may not be searching for real estate. Is the contact you met or have information for who you want to convert into a real estate lead. That's what a, that's what the spear is for. Prospect is contacts that you've met, have information for. You have their information, who you want to convert into a real estate lead as well. And they're not they're not actively searching right now. And your art, your efforts are basically directed into getting them to do so. So 
they go from sphere to prospect like okay like I'm actually working on this person I'm getting I'm getting them ready to be an actual lead you know a new lead which is right here will be the contact who sign up on your website um either from an ad or some other lead source um such as an email import they're not actively searching but you know your efforts are also getting them directed to you know to become active so that's what a new lead is so like anytime that somebody's logging onto your website like okay that's your new lead but you can also put them into either sphere or prospect if you know you don't know if they're serious or whatever i don't whatever the case is um your active lead this status right here con contacts that contact that client that buyer is actively returning to your website to view properties um this person will respond to communication um anybody who does like if they are responding to you they're going to automatically default to active status because they're they're in con um they're, you know, in communication with you. So that's what that that is, the active lead. They're active. A client means that the contact you're actually working with is your is the contact that you're actually working with and you're showing homes to and you know, like you're actually doing things with, with the client showing homes, and yeah, all that. So a contract means that there's contracts who is in the buying or selling transaction. Oh, it's contracts. There are contacts who are in the buying or selling transaction process. So they have a transaction and they're getting their, like y'all are actually getting things on the ball rolling with that process with their transaction and then close means that the contact has completed their transaction so that's what these are for and some of you guys are like okay so what do i do with all these automations there's like a lot of these automated messages and you know i don't know whether to put them into sphere make them a new lead whatever the case is so i'm telling you what each thing is so that you know so if you have someone who you know you're like okay we don't know where where they stand we don't even know if this is a real person da, da, da. put them in like spear um and like if you guys are actively communicating i would just say put them in active lead like just it all depends on you know it's all it's all based on your preference and you can you can change the automations so let me go to that because i know that's like the biggest thing people have um questions about let me see if um yeah let me see so to get to automations, like the campaigns and stuff, this is, this is, and people are like, what are automations? Automations are like a robot pretty much doing the work for you. It's literally like messages being sent out, but it's not you, it's the, it's KV Core that's doing it. But um, everything is built to make sure that, you know, you're like the it's built to help you guys so that you don't have to put in so much of the work and um let me see so let me uh let me go here so we're going to go to marketing you're going to go to smart campaigns so now you see 
three of the main sections, my campaigns, KB Core Library templates. Under my campaigns, you see Alexa turn off. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, under my campaigns, you see this list of default um, campaigns. So the campaign name is here. The description is here. Uh, like, who is it for? What is the status? Who is it for? And then um, whether the campaign will always run or not. Um, now, do I know what touches mean? I don't know what that means. I'm be honest with y'all. Um, but so let me give y'all, let me show y'all something because I feel like this confuses people. When we click on the fall active buyer, this campaign is, is going to you. Right here it says agent. It's, it's, your, it's a campaign, it's a, it's a task campaign, which means you, if y'all see that little notification right here where it says show notification and it tells you all your tasks, that is what that is. This default active buyer, there's an active buyer. This campaign is sending to where it says agent is to you and it's giving you a task. So look at what this, the preview message says. Reminder, check in with contact or update contact status. So it's sending to you and it's, it's giving you, you guys a message and it's going to show up here in your notification. So going back, let's go to default closed. This is a campaign that will send there's going to be uh, an email that will be sent from you to the contact, to the client. And you can preview the message. Hi, blankety blank. It's been da 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 da. And it's going to give you like um, an idea of what, you know, the subject is, what the, this, well, not an idea. This is literally the message that will send. And when it says, hey, first name, in those brackets, the two brackets that you see, and when it says first name, it's not going to it's not going to show. It's going to say like let's say I'm the client and my name is Melissa. It's going to say hey Melissa, blah blah blah. And down here when it says thanks, agent's first name, it's going to be thanks, agent's first name is going to be let's let's say I'm the agent Taylor Goodridge. My first name is going to or my first name is going to be right there. So it's going to be Taylor. Um, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. And so that is a default campaign. That's what those. That's what those are. And you can see who it's sending to. These are um, looking under under the channels. You can see task, task, task. These tasks are probably going to be sent to the agent because tasks are the notif. They're going to be here in the notification. So. If it says otherwise, I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be sent to the client or seller. Um, let's see. Yeah. So it, it's different. And you can change um, that template as well. Also, what I wanted to tell you guys, um, you can enable and disable these, these as well, the default campaigns. So. If you're going to make it your own, because I know a lot of people are like, I don't really want these no, uh, notifications or, or my um, campaign to send it send out to people automatically, when, especially if I don't know. People like to be a little bit more hands-on. I get that. So you can turn these off. Like this one, you can turn off. You can turn off and just look through them and see if you if you don't need it, turn it off. 
Like, I'm, I don't need none of these. So I can really just turn these off because I, I'm not a real estate agent. I'm not going to be doing any of these. So, um, but this is just for you, you guys to view. So you won't be able to edit, um, you won't be able to edit these default campaigns, but you can always um, create a campaign. I could probably walk through this on another, because um, I have four minutes left. I could probably walk through this on another Tech Thursday on creating a campaign and really editing them. But um, you can turn these off and they say um, it's better to just clone the campaign. So let's do this. Let's go to templates real quick. These are the templates that they have. I hope I'm not going too fast, by the way, but um, these all are templates. So like, let's say this is the email that they have. Let's see, clone this. Did it, hold on. Oh. Okay. So these are some of the campaigns that KB Core also has. This in their library. That's what the um, that's what this is. It contains all the pre-built campaigns designed by KB Core. These campaigns have been tested, and they're pretty much um, the best. I guess the best take on an effective campaign. So let's say it's open house. And it will show you a little bit about that. And you can clone this campaign if you want to. Um, but let me go back. Because there are some things I wanted to show you under template. So one year in, you it, it has a message already in there. And you can change it, edit it however you like, and then clone it. And what's going to happen is, once you clone that, like let's say, all right, once you clone that, it should pop up. I'm trying to see. Let me go back to the contact. So underneath your contact, this is what I just did. Let's say this is your contact, this is your client, and you want to send them a template of an email that you already have uh, saved in. The clone template will pop up here, but make sure you put like a specific, um, uh, like a specific name for it that you're gonna recognize, because there's a lot of them. There's a lot of default templates. And I don't think, I'm trying to see if you can, I don't know if you will, I don't think KB Core recommends you delete any of the other, other things. I think there is an option to delete them, but let me go back. Ooh. Yeah, as I'm, as I'm looking, by the names, like by, it just says clone. So you don't have the opportunity or the option, opportunity. You don't have the option to delete these templates. But yeah, so you can use those templates to send out emails. Um, you can add certain things to your library. Um, yeah, like if you add it to your library, it'll pop up right here, so. Um, all right, so it's 250. I hope this helps a little bit. Um, we're going we're probably gonna do a part two on the campaigns, but I hope it helps a little bit. So now you know like 
the details regarding each campaign. Like you would just have to look through them, see what works for you. You can turn these off and go run, like look through the KB Core library, see what works best for you. See what works best for you. And add them, add them over here. And if you're sending out text messages or anything, like you can, you can actually add a template, clone it, make it your own, and send that out instead of using what they have defaulted. But um, yeah, that's everything for now. If you have any questions, feel free to call me, email me. Um, we're still learning all together. So let me exit out this screen. All right, y'all. You have a blessed one. Peace out. Have a great weekend.